Retired Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio says the anti-terror bill the House of Representatives passed on June 3 can be challenged in court on its face or right away. Carpio says a challenge is allowed because the law touches on fundamental constitutional rights, like the right against warrantless arrests, and provides penalties for its violation. The anti-terror bill also penalizes inciting to terrorism. Carpio says freedom of speech is involved and thus facial challenge should be allowed. Meantime, a comprehensive report from the United Nations Human Rights Council touches on the bill. The report says the vague definitions in the bill may violate the principle of legality and is even more problematic than the current Human Security Act it seeks to replace. Lawmakers from Mindanao who experienced terrorism by violent extremists firsthand earlier rejected the anti-terror bill. They say it might even incite violence and further embolden terrorists. Kung ganito kalabnaw at kalawak ang mga provision, kung ganito kadaling ma-misinterpret o maabuso ang nakasaad sa batas, baka lalo lang mag mapalala ng batas na ito kesa maampat o mapigilan ng terorismo. Muntinlupa Representative Rufi Biason, who was first to file the anti-terrorism bill way back in July 2019, not only withdrew his authorship Wednesday, but also voted against the measure he lobbied for. I believe that we should stand up for the House. And because of this, my vote is no to the bill. And the word, the, the, my name could not be attached to a bill that is not my real work. So my, my withdrawal to the, the, to the uh, as author of the measure um, is another thing that I would like to present to the House. Fans meantime criticize actress and Batangas representative Vilma Santos Recto for her vote in favor of the draconian bill. Her vote was explained in a text message posted by her son Luis Manzano. I am not the principal author of House Bill 6875. I am in favor of it with reservations. Actress Janine Gutierrez, one of the many celebrities against the bill, questioned Vilma's vote. If it was a yes with reservations, wouldn't it have been better to just say no until the things that concern you are solved or removed? Others call the lawmaker out for going against the spirit of her movie's sister Stella L and Decada Setenta. These are movies about human rights abuses in the Philippines. The official vote count for the anti-terror bill is 173 yes votes, 31 negative votes, and 29 abstentions. But the source says several lawmakers are changing either their yes vote or abstention to a no vote. On Thursday, various sectors and progressive groups hold an indignation rally at the University of the Philippines in Quezon City to call to junk the bill. Jump